So, have you been lied to before? Well, honestly, everybody has been lied to before, probably even today. But have you ever been lied to before by an operator? Well, I'm sad to inform you that Hotlink lied to you. And people are outraged, especially Malaysians. I'm not really outraged because I'm not in Malaysia right now, but I'm still outraged once I found out that they lied to the people. But what did they lie about? Well, let me just talk about that in this video. Hi. It's Odo from Phone Travelers, where we talk about everything related to traveling with your phone, like local SIM cards, phone travel tips, roaming with your provider, just everything related to traveling with your phone. My previous video was a review about Hotlink, especially the prepaid part, because this channel focuses on traveling with your phone, and travelers cannot really get postpaid plans, because, well, they just can't. At the time of recording, it's August 2020, and I was in Malaysia in February 2020. And if you're wondering, well, why did it take me six months to make this review? That's a very good question, but you're asking too many questions already. We have to focus on, you know, being angry at Hotlink. <laughs> so why are people outraged? It's because Hotlink lied to us. Well, I mentioned that before. But what did they actually lie about? They lied specifically about the Hotlink prepaid unlimited SIM card, which is one of the new SIM cards. They also have a Malaysian name that I cannot well, pronounced because it's Malaysian, but on the screen you will see a photo of the SIM card. They also released another SIM card at the same time, which is called the Hotlink Prepaid Video, and they didn't lie about that, and people are not outraged about that SIM card because that's fine. Back when I was in Malaysia, Hotlink had the red plans, which were, well, right now the obsolete plans, and they offered different types of things. On the screen you will see an overview of the red plans, and they were okay, you know, it's fine. But what you see, well, how Hotlink improved their plans with the unlimited plans, you would think like, wow, we get unlimited data. But there's a caveat because your speeds are throttled. They are throttled to 3 megabits per second or 6 megabits per second depending on the plan you choose. And of course, the most expensive plan comes with faster speeds. Even though 6 megabits per second is not too fast, in fact, it's kind of slow or actually extremely slow for Malaysian standards when I'm talking about the average, but it's still good enough to browse the web and watch videos in peace. In standard definition, maybe high definition as well, but I cannot really confirm that. So there are four types, or actually normally there are three types, but now we have four types of unlimited plans. One is when you get truly unlimited data, as in when they say unlimited, you get like unlimited. And there's one country where I can think of that comes with unlimited data plans, which is Taiwan, which is where I'm right now. If you get some of the tourist SIM cards or airport plans, these plans come with unlimited data without throttled speeds like you know for example in July at one of the operators I used 70 gigabytes of data on just 4G and my speeds were not throttled in fact I kept getting consistently high speeds that's the first category of unlimited data the second category of unlimited data is when you first get high speed data and once you reach a certain allowance your speeds get throttled so let's say you first get like 10 gigabytes of high speed data and then your speeds will be slower Usually it's manageable speeds, like it goes down from, let's say, if the top speed is 100 megabits per second, it goes to down to 10, 5, 1, sometimes even 2G speeds, which is not fun, it's so slow, it's unbearable, but at least you're aware that you get unlimited data. Yes, you don't get unlimited high speed data, but it's still unlimited data. The third category is when you get unlimited data, but it's constantly throttled at a certain speed. For example, yes, 4G, they throttle their speeds at, I don't know, on top of my head, but their speeds are throttled at all times, at least that's what they say. Or Hajj in Sri Lanka, they also throttled their speeds to 3 megabits per second. Hotlink decided to come with a fourth category where you first get throttled speeds, so that's with the new plans, you get total speeds 3 megabits per second or 6 megabits per second. And after that, your speeds get throttled to 5, no, 512 kilobits per second. And the issue with this category or the issue with how Hotlink marketed the new SIM card is that they kept saying, and I think you can find it on the web page still, saying that you get truly unlimited data at total speeds. And people can understand that's why we have either total speeds or one of the other two categories. And I can understand fair use policies, otherwise people will abuse the system and do some crazy stuff on the network that can affect the network performance of other people. I'm not against fair use policies. But what I am not a fan or fond of is when you claim to offer truly unlimited data but don't disclose that fair use policies apply. If you go to the product page, which I'm showing you right now, it will just say that, well, you know, you get unlimited data, but then at total speed, that's fine. If people know that you, know, you get unlimited data at total speed, it's fine, because at least we are transparent. 
when I was writing the review and learning more about these plants because I was still used to the old red plants, I went to the terms of condition page, which, well, people should do more often, but people don't. And I only do that when I write the reviews, usually after I've used the same code. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. I realized that fair use policies were imposed or limits were imposed. I was like, hmm, wait a minute. I didn't see that anywhere on the product page. So I went back to the product page and what do I see? truly unlimited internet at reduced speeds and people were outraged or at least first when these plans were released i think it was back in june people were like oh wow we get unlimited data at total speeds well it's slow but well you know it's possible and there are also videos on how to bypass these speeds well i'm not really gonna link to them because one i haven't tried it myself and two it may be against the terms of service but that, and that's not something i want to promote but you can quickly search on youtube how to bypass these speed caps so uh, well good luck with that and then maybe the same day the plans were released or a few days the plans were released then people started to make outrage articles news articles started to come out saying that hot link lied and in youtube videos mainly in malaysian also started to say that you know well, the hot link lied to us, they're scamming us because, well, even though they say you give you truly unlimited data, you have fair use limits and stuff like that. And I can understand the outrage. If I was still in Malaysia and got one of these plans, when I was in Malaysia, I got a two-way SIM card, and the whole story about that, you can watch that in the hot link review, I would be outraged too. Because I was being promised that I would get unlimited data, but then at throttled speed. You know, that's the third category of limited data but then they do it this sleazy way where they say well we do impose fair use limits but you have to go to the terms of condition page which we all know that almost nobody reads and that's just sleazy but you could be saying well i'll do they still give you unlimited data it's just that your speech will be total just like a category thing yes that's true that's why and like i said i can understand fair use policy limits but at least be clear with that with your customers especially on the product page or it could even be you know in small letters down below in the footer at least tell your customers that even though you get unlimited data your speech will be taller i don't think i've ever seen an operator before that offers unlimited data at slower speed and then told your speeds like lower than well the already told the speeds that's why i say they are category four which they invent well maybe they didn't invent that but at least that's the one that i'm aware of but just be clear with that to your customers but does this mean that the unlimited plans are bad absolutely not even with the fair use limit policies or fair use policy limits you still get much much more data compared to the red plans for even much money than you spend as before for example let me show you the hot link the old so let me show you the old hot plans again which is like this i think you pay on top of my head because i don't have the image in front of me you pay like 70 Malaysian ring it for 10 gigabytes of data or 20 something like that you can get 50 gigabytes for 30 35 Malaysian ring it once again on top of my head which you know it's a big improvement but I think that Hotlink wouldn't get this backlash if they were at least you know honest and transparent straight up they could have said that hey you get unlimited data at total speeds which people can accept but if you reach a certain limit your speech will be even slower if they would have said that before sure they will be fine. There's no other operator that I know on top of my head that already throttles your speed initially and then makes them slower later. It's either they keep it constantly low or they give you like unlimited, well, well yeah, uncapped speeds initially and then throttle them to lower speeds. So this is like a new thing. So I think people would still have to get used to that. But now it's that they advertise like truly unlimited data, revolutionary in Malaysia or something. Maybe they can't even say that. That's just me making it up. But it did come over as a new revolutionary thing in Malaysia with truly unlimited plans, even though we have yes 4 g But still, so that's something I want you to be aware of. And I showed you the table before about the fair use policy limits, and I'll show you again. Remember, even when they say that you get unlimited data, there's a fair use policy for five gigabytes for one day. For the weekly plan, it's 50 gigabytes on top of my head. And for the monthly plans, it's 50 gigabytes. After that, your speech will be reduced to 512 kilobits per second, which is slower than three to six, which you initially have, but it's still better than 2G speeds, which is 64 or 128 kilobits per second, which is like absolutely unbearable. You may be wondering why do I just make this video now in August instead of back in June? Because I didn't write the review back in June. If I did back then, I could have gotten much more views and all the hype, but I'm a bit late to the party. But then again, most of these videos exposing Hotlink or Maxis is mainly Malaysian, except if you go to news articles. So I'll start, well, let me just inform my audience 
about this system that, that even though it's advertised as limited, it's not truly limited. So what do you think of these new Hotlink plans? And what do you think about the way Hotlink advertised that? Comment down below with your experience and your thoughts. And also let me know what you think about these type of videos. A little bit of a uh, new segment. In this case, the news is discussed two months too late, but hey, it's still new. <laughs> but let's see if there's something, you know, like something outrageous or new going on. Would you like me to make a video about it? Or would you like me to just stick with you know the stuff that I do comment down below with that as well if this is the first video you've watched of me remember I talk about everything related to traveling with your phone if you are Malaysian I've done SIM card reviews of Malaysian operators which is an eye up there but I also talk about SIM cards in other places for example Singapore I've done Singapore as well which is one of the neighboring countries but I also talk about SIM card guys telling you about which SIM card is the best for a country and like all destinations around the world not on YouTube yet I will be doing that slowly but on my blog phone tours.com I've written about almost every country around the world except most places in Europe and Africa at the time of writing or at the time of recording this video but yes I just talk about everything related to traveling with your phone and if that's content you think you would enjoy or think would be interesting make sure to subscribe that's it for today and I shall see you in the next one bye bye